my name is Liz Kramer and I'm with the Rice County Historical Society. Today we'll be talking about Selner Manufacturing and the Tilt-A-Whirl's history in Faribault. Selner Manufacturing in Faribault spanned five generations. Frederick Selner was born in present-day Germany and came to the United States in the mid-1880s. He was a furniture maker by trade and his son Herbert carried on the tradition, founding the Selner Woodcraft Company. The company was sold to Peterson Art Company in 1914, and afterwards, Herbert and his brother Martin created the Ideal Lamp Manufacturing Company, which made lamps in addition to children's toys like cars, sleds, and tricycles. Lead shortages in World War I put an end to the Ideal Lamp Company, and after it was dissolved, Herbert began to create water ride amusements. Starting with diving boards, he then introduced the Selner water toboggan slide at Roberts Lake, and then the Selner water wheel. After a boat-based merry-go-round proved unstable, Herbert adopted the idea for land, creating the first tilt-a-whirl in a neighbor's back garden. The first tilt-a-whirl was sold for $4,500 to the Wildwood Amusement Park on the shores of White Bear Lake. People loved the chaotic and unpredictable ride, and it grossed over $30,000 in its first year. In 1927, a sickly and ailing Herbert convinced his brother Martin to help run the business while Herbert continued to invent rides. After Herbert passed, Walter ran the company, and his son invented the modern seven-car version of the Tilt-A-Whirl. World War II disrupted production, but Selner Manufacturing continued to invent and produce amusement rides throughout the years. In the 70s and 80s, Bruce Selner developed new rides such as Spin the Apple and Dizzy Dragons, as there was not a large new market for the long-lasting Tilt-A-Whirls. After Bruce passed away, his wife and daughter took over the company. They continued to invent rides throughout the 90s and early 2000s, but could not survive the economic dips following September 11th and Hurricane Katrina. Selner Manufacturing was sold in 2011 to a Texas-based company. The name of Selner has not completely left the Faribault area, though. A restored Tilt-A-Whirl car is on display in Central Avenue, and parts of the business, including the fiberglass and paint departments, have remained in town. This is the Rice County Historical Society, preserving the past for future generations.